Good morning. Today we're going to look at the 555 timer as an oscillator. An oscillator simply means that the circuit switches off, its output switches off and on, off and on, off and on, as you see here. So it goes high, low, high, low, high, low. When it's high, we sometimes call it a mark, and when it's low, we call it a space, and you get something called a mark-space ratio. Okay, remember that because we'll look at that a bit later on. You probably know where to get most of this stuff from because you're quite familiar with the interface now, but I'm going to show you that you get the 555 timer from the mixed tab. I've chosen the virtual one. The power supply VCC and ground. Resistor, capacitor the LED and this is an oscilloscope and we get that from over here left click drag where you want it on the screen my one's set up to look at the output pin 3 and the waveform either at pin 2 or pin 6 the output as we see switches on and off the waveform at pin 2 and pin 6 is this capacitor here charging so the basic function of these three components is to determine how fast the output switches on and switches off and also its mark space ratio. What happens when we switch the circuit on this capacitor here charges from the power supply until it reaches two-thirds of the power supply voltage so about 3.33 volts something like that. When that happens the output switches off and the capacitor discharges through this resistor here into pin 7 until the voltage across the capacitor has reached one third of the power supply voltage. So let's have a look at the effect of changing the value of the capacitor. I'm going to make it 10 times larger. Simulate. And we can see that it has a quite a profound effect on the output frequency it's much slower in fact it's 10 times slower so by making the capacitor 10 times larger you affect the output frequency making it 10 times slower we can also look at the mark space ratio the best way to demonstrate this is to change the value of R1 and I'm going to make R1 100k 100 times bigger but I'm also going to change the value of the capacitor because it'll take ages to simulate otherwise. Let's re-simulate. Change the time base of the oscilloscope and now you can see that the mark space ratio, the ratio between the amount of time the output is high and low has changed dramatically. Troubleshooting this type of circuit, a few things to be wary of Make sure your capacitor is the right value and in the right way round if it's polarity dependent. Check the power at pin 8, the power at pin 4. Make sure your LED is the right way round. Make sure your current limited resistor is the right sort of value. And make sure your ground is connected. Hope this has helped. Thank you very much. See you during the next one.